Hello students, in this problem we're going to use implicit differentiation to find dy dx of this implicit curve, which actually turns out to be a parabola. Okay, so here we go. Um, first thing we're going to do is uh, differentiate both sides. So I'll take the derivative with, res with respect to x of the left-hand side and of the right-hand side. Then the um, derivative of the right-hand side is simply 0, because the derivative of 0 respect to x is 0, of course. And in the left-hand side, I distribute the operator, um, d dx, to each of the terms. Now here I use the constant multiple rule, so I factor the 2 minus 2 out of the derivative. And then I like to get in the habit of um, putting parentheses um, whenever I um, use the product rule with implicit differentiation, the product rule or the quotient rule. Um, I like to use parentheses, um, regardless of the sign here, just I get into the habit of doing that because if there is a minus sign here, it's going to have an impact on um, this expression. Then um, I'll take the derivative of y squared with respect to x. Um, I factor the 2 out, take the derivative of x with respect to x, factor the minus 6 out, take the derivative of y with respect to x, and then plus the derivative of 17 with respect to x. So um, after I complete that step, um, I realize that I have to use the product rule and the chain rule in both of those terms, and here we go. So the derivative of x squared is 2x. Um, that minus 2 is sitting outside, and once again, I put those parentheses down there, and here I use the product rule. So y was left alone. I take the derivative of x plus, because of the product rule, I leave x alone, and I take the derivative of y, because I have a product of two um, terms here. Then plus, um, the derivative of y squared, the 2 becomes a coefficient. I subtract 1 from the exponent, and so I get a 1 there. And then I have to take the derivative of the inside function, which is dy dx. Plus um, 2 times the derivative of x, which is simply 1, minus 6 times the derivative of y with respect to x, and the derivative of 17, which is the derivative of a constant, is simply 0. All right. Then I distribute the minus 2, and uh, you see the impact here of the distributive property. And um, I simplify all my other terms. 2 times 1 is simply 2. I have a 2x there. Okay, so not too much going on in that step, other than distributing those minus 2s. Um, then um, I collect like terms. So um, anything that doesn't have a dy dx, I group together here. Anything that has a dy dx, I group together here. And then I highlight the dy dx because we have to solve for dy dx. So I'm going to factor that out. But um, before I do that, I move everything um, that doesn't involve dy dx over to the right-hand side, and that flips the sign. So the 2x becomes a minus 2x, the minus 2y becomes a plus 2y, and the 2 becomes a minus 2. And then I factor out the dy dx, and I'm simply left with that term. And then I divide by minus 2x plus 2y minus 6, and I've now solved for dy dx. All right, good luck.